Welcome to NCC lecture series. This is lecture number 45. Honorable Commanding Officer, Respected Associate NCC Officers, Dear Permanent Instructors, and My Dear Carers and Students. Today we discuss Interpersonal Relationship and Communication. Personal Relationship or interpersonal relationship and communication is very important in the life of every individual. No matter which profession we are in, if at all we don't have any profession, whichever field we are in, interpersonal relationship and communication is a very important area where we have to be very careful. Today we are discussing what is interpersonal relationship and what is the basis of every interpersonal relationship and different forms of interpersonal relationship and uh, must-haves in interpersonal relationship. This is in fact uh, lecture number one in interpersonal relationship and communication. There will be two more lectures. In the next lecture we are discussing interpersonal relationship between a man and a woman. Okay, let's discuss what is interpersonal relationship. A strong bond between two or more people refers to interpersonal relationship. So it can be the relationship between a child and, and its parent. It can be a relationship between two persons working in an organization. So attraction between individuals brings them closer to each other. Eventually it results in a strong interpersonal relationship for our mental, emotional, physical and psychological growth and health we need to have good interpersonal relationship. Let's discuss what is the basis of every interpersonal relationship and when we think of the basis of uh, 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 interpersonal relationship we understand that the basis of interpersonal relationship is communication not just communication effective communication proper communication successful communication is the basis of uh, interpersonal relationship and such a relationship where we have effective communication will always be a healthy relationship and now let us understand what happens if there isn't a healthy relationship or if there isn't an effective communication in a relationship okay if there isn't an effective communication between people involved in an interpersonal relationship, the charm of the relationship is lost forever because individuals have to express and reciprocate their feelings through various modes of communication. It can be greeting, it can be just uh, long discussions and uh, sharings of experiences and it could even be warm handshakes and hugs and kisses and all. So the communication, if it doesn't take place properly and effectively, the interpersonal relationship may break. And now let's discuss forms of interpersonal relationship. So what we mean by forms of interpersonal relationship is where do we have interpersonal relationship? At what levels and where in our society 
where in our community do we have interpersonal relationship and this forms of interpersonal relationship can be at six levels let's discuss each of the six levels of interpersonal relationship so first form of interpersonal relationship can be between or among individuals working together in the same organization say for example there are cadets in ncc and there are cadets of a, a particular institution an educational institution so you belong to to koi curricular battalion ncc or you belong to first koi curricular battalion or you are the cadets of one school or college and all of you who are together in this organization of NCC or any other organization student organization or organization of professionals okay there can be a healthy relationship or there can be an interpersonal relationship so interpersonal relationship can take place at different forms or levels and first is interpersonal relationship among or between individuals working together in the same organization number two interpersonal relationship can take place in or among people working in the same team okay team doesn't mean any uh, uh, games alone it can be a game like uh, the team members of uh, Indian cricket team or team members of uh, maybe the hockey team not just that it could be a team of uh, police officers investigating a case it could be maybe a team of uh, lawyers or it could be a team of uh, professors or writers or singers or dancers so number two interpersonal relationship can form among people working in the same team number three interpersonal relationship can occur or take place between a man and a woman and this interpersonal relationship between a man and a woman can be just friendship it can be love and it can ultimately be marriage so that is the third form of interpersonal relationship and now the fourth form of interpersonal relationship is between immediate family members and relatives okay like dad and son dad and daughter dad and uh, okay maybe grandson granddaughter brother and brother brother and sister all right so also aunt and uh, nephew aunt and niece uncle and uh, nephew uncle. okay so this kind of relationship between immediate family members can also be interpersonal relationship and now we have the fourth fifth form of interpersonal relationship and it is between a child and his parents right like i have a very close relationship interpersonal relationship between my son and me it could be my daughter and me okay so that is the fifth form of interpersonal relationship that is a child and a father and uh, now the sixth form of interpersonal relationship between friends okay we can have friends in the neighborhood we can have friends in of course the office where we work we can have friends in the college where uh, you teach or you study so it is friendship and friendship can also become very deep and strong and such strong bond between friends can be the sixth level of interpersonal relationship but uh, uh, we have of course uh, a very true fact that we need to have very 
healthy, good, strong interpersonal relationship and communication because otherwise we may feel some kind of uh, monotony or some kind of dullness and boredom in our life. So if we have very good relationships, our life will always be meaningful. We shall have happiness, joy and optimism and we will never be downhearted or disappointed. So now we have discussed what is interpersonal relationship and what is the basis of every interpersonal relationship and we also have seen the different forms of interpersonal relationship and we are coming to the most important area of this lecture that is the must have in interpersonal relationship okay seven points is essential or necessary for strong interpersonal relationship so otherwise the relationship can just uh, uh, break or it can just uh, lose it can be lost and okay uh, let us understand what are the must-haves in interpersonal relationships so when we discuss the must-haves or essential factors in interpersonal relationships we come across four important points first point is people in a relationship or members in an interpersonal relationship it can be okay two people working in an organization it could be members of the same team it could be of course uh, family members or it could be friends normal friends right so they must share common goals and objectives this is very important for interpersonal relationship the first must have in interpersonal relationship is must share common goals and objectives right people in the armed forces okay they have common goals and objectives all right similarly writers they have again common goals right members of the family all right common goals and objectives similarly okay same interests and backgrounds can lead to successful interpersonal relationship same interest interested in music interested in of course sports fitness activities interested in some dance okay interested uh, in of course uh, a service helping others okay so same kind of interest and same objective to contribute to the country to serve the country to help people improve themselves right such type of similar interests and backgrounds can just uh, make interpersonal relationships stronger or this is the must have in an interpersonal relationship now we are looking at the second must have in interpersonal relationship that is respect okay so members or people or individuals in an interpersonal relationship okay of course they should communicate very well very effectively and other than that they have to respect each other respect for the likes and dislikes and interests of uh, uh, the other person is very essential for a strong successful healthy interpersonal relationship like respecting the views of the other person respecting the opinions of the other person and uh, of course a strong sense of trust yeah my friend will always look for me he will always care for me he will always help me i can always trust him he will never leave me he will never uh, deceive me okay he is a true friend i can depend on him so this kind of a sense of trust and respect for each other's views and opinions is essential in 
an interpersonal relationship. Now the third must have in an interpersonal relationship is individuals must be attracted for a or rather attached for a healthy relationship. So there must be attachment, very close relationship. So this kind of attraction and attachment is essential for healthy relationship. Okay, so you, you need to be near your friend. You need to meet him or her frequently. So this kind of attachment, okay, making calls, if you are away for a week or a month, okay, so remain attached mentally, emotionally, physically and psychologically. So this kind of attachment is essential for interpersonal relationship. And now we come to the last must have in an interpersonal relationship that is transparency in relationship. Okay, so there must be transparency or there must be honesty. Your friend must know everything about you. If you are traveling to maybe a faraway place like Delhi from South India, or if you are traveling to, of course, a foreign town, a foreign city, foreign country for a conference, you don't tell your friend. Of course, there is no honesty, there is no transparency. So all the important events in your life must be shared. So you must know everything about your friend, your colleague, or maybe your lover, or your wife or husband or son or daughter. Okay, so transparency and honesty is another very essential aspect or must have in interpersonal relationship. If you are not sharing everything, if you are not being honest, your likes, your dislikes, your opinions, your views, your anxiety, your worry, your failure, your success, your dream, all this can be shared if you have a very strong interpersonal relationship. Okay, so these are the important points we have to consider when we discuss interpersonal relationship. Today we discussed interpersonal relationship and communication and we have defined interpersonal relationship. We also looked at the basis of every interpersonal relationship that is successful communication, effective communication and we also discussed different forms of interpersonal relationship. Okay this relationship can be between who and who and six levels we can have interpersonal relationship and last we discussed must haves in interpersonal relationship for essential characteristics or aspects or must haves in interpersonal relationship and with that we can just come to the end of this lecture let us ensure that we have very healthy interpersonal relationships within the family, in our office, in our neighborhood, in our society. Maybe we have very good relationships, of course, anywhere. And uh, let us just remain very healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, intellectually, and psychologically. I wish you all the best. May God bless you. Thank you for listening.